we can call this meeting to order at 1.01 p.m. Um, Representative, please state your name for the record when I call the taxing district you represent. City of DeKalb. Uh, DeKalb School District. Cindy Parker. DeKalb County. Brian Berger. DeKalb Park District. DeKalb Township. Mary House. Kishwaukee College. Jill Hansen. Public Member. Hillary Burke. Kishwaukee Water Reclamation District. DeKalb Public Library. DeKalb Township Road and Bridge District. DeKalb County Forest Preserve. We have six present. And uh, if you don't mind, I'll just carry this to the uh, chair of my as far as the agenda goes, we should probably approve it. Any thoughts? Uh, I make a motion to approve the agenda. Second. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Uh, so now we get to the appointment of the permanent chair. And uh, there's been a lot of campaigning, as you know, a lot of signs. <laughs> and uh, I mean, you've just been uh, you know, so insistent about this, I think. Brian Gregory should be permanent chair. Whatever you want. Does anybody have a second? I second. Brian, you have your chance. <laughs> you know, as long as you keep this seat, is that what it is? That's right. <laughs> all right. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, any proposed? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Brian. Mm -hmm. It's all yours, Brian. All right. Well, thank you. Um, our next order of business is approval of the minutes from our last meeting on October 22nd of 2001. So I'll give that a chance to review those, and if so, we'll look for a motion. So moved. We'll motion. Second. And a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Public participation. Uh, any comments from the public? I see none present, so we will move on um, to presentation of the fourth quarter FY21 TIF financials. Uh, I'll, I'll start that off and then uh, we've done some introductions here. And, uh, going forward, uh, like, uh, Carrie did, you know, work with the have in the past, uh, we give you copies of the financials that are referenced in a particular kind of title, uh, which is because this is the fourth quarter, we've got the October, November, December financials, uh, that was the closeout of the tip one, so I uh, hope you had a chance to peruse those, and uh, we have to touch on, as I mentioned, uh, the, the presentation of the TIF treasure, I think we can move to calling it, which is uh, showing the projects and so forth. That's also included uh, in this uh, section of the agenda toward the back of your passion here. Do you have any questions about that? We have, well, I'll get to the project later. I'm talking about where we are with some of the remaining larger projects and where we'll probably be going forward in the next couple of years as well. I just have a quick question yeah. about the, so there's still one more tip surplus that's getting distributed. Yes. Yes, okay. That's what I thought. From this last tax levy. Yes. Then we'll be done. And that's prior to uh, March 31st? Yes. Uh, we have to, uh, we, we send we send the check to the county, and then the county sends the, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah, we usually get the check to the county. Yeah. So, um, with the $3 million change check was already sent in December. Oh, okay. So, so maybe in the process, I can right. check on that. Yeah. That's right. I mean, I was going to say that, but I thought maybe I'm all coming together. There'll be one other sizable check that we have. Okay. Okay. That's good. Any other questions on financials? A update on current projects? Yeah, the, the biggest one is out there right now that's Yeah. 
sidewalk areas, Whatever won't uh, invite the further attention from my at this point. That may take a little bit longer, but we'll get it all done. Hopefully, uh, and, and every day, every store will be open. Went through this in uh, Sycamore. And it's possible, it's, it takes a lot of, every day, you just gotta make sure a little thing that you didn't know about the stores looking to do a sidewalk sale that day and there's no sidewalk so you gotta just work with people, everybody smile and Larry I'll need you to be a sidewalk supervisor. How did you do that? I'm close by. I'll get you up. I can be the sheriff. Uh, yes. That's, no, that, so that, that's, those are the main ones. Uh, so far this year, and I know this is a, a, we're in the first quarter of the next fiscal year, it's not part of this, but we just had a couple small architectural improvement program like the side grants for a couple of thousand for a roof repair emergency that happened in uh, uh, December between Christmas and New Year's and uh, stagecoach uh, theaters uh, and two boilers and you know, one has always been sort of in reserve and didn't kick on when the, the main one gave and so I authorized and proceed and said we probably don't want a fraction of that. That's where we are. It's not going to be a big, so we'll have a couple hundred thousand maybe every year to do something with, but there are a couple, uh, I'll just give you a heads up on this. Just, uh, I'll just say uh, there's a large call center Harvest store, 
quiet success story. There's not much we can do to help. We can't help them down at the hardware store, of course, but uh, the original Fallon place, they, they've taken down some parts of it. There's a section of it that's still solid, and that's where they do some storage. That it's not set up for manufacturing anymore, where they bring in the lumber, cut the lumber, and start putting together pallets. It's not a, it's not a real esoteric uh, construction process, but it's, it's, it's a timely thing. They, they crank them up and put them on semi-trailers and take a while. But uh, they were just in today. They went from a payroll of, 10 years ago, of uh, annual payroll of 300000 about five million. Yeah, they, they have their employees, 401k and health insurance, and they're making on average seventy thousand a year. Incredible. And they have a uh, education stipend. So these guys kind of they, 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 they kind of rough and tumble. They got out of high school. They went to into the service. They got out. They went to NIU. They learned some uh, business administration and they, they bought a couple of things. And so it's all kind of, you know, kind of things. How many employees do they have? Now it's close to uh, almost 50. Wow. Yeah, so uh, that might be something we can have. It's a small piece, the main piece is over in Armstrong.